Hey guys, welcome back. Let's talk Christmas, shall we? Um, I'm going to do my sort of Christmas haul, what I got for Christmas video. And I don't know if there's going to be any kind of order to this or not. I'm just going to, I have a huge box sitting next to me full of stuff. And so I'm just going to dive in and see what happens. All right, the first thing I'm going to show you, because it's sitting right here, is um, this big uh, laptop case which is kind of like, it's a patent finish, but it's kind of a, um, sort of a smoky blue. It's coming up a little more royal on camera than it actually is because of the reflection of the lights and whatnot. But it's almost a smoky blue. It's by Adrian Vitadini. And um, I'm going to say you can probably get this at TJ Maxx, but I'm not exactly sure. So the suggested retail value is $180. Bucks. Um, I know that's not what was <laughs> what was spent on it. At least I hope not. Um, and it does have a little, I haven't unwrapped anything yet, but it does have the little emblem down here. And inside it has, um, it does have the protective, you know, case for your laptop. And then on this wall, it's got two um, side pockets. And then it zips at the top. Now, my, I have a really big laptop. Mine is 17, I think. And so it's, it's too big for this, but um, this is going to be a handbag for me, for sure. So, there's that. And the next thing I received is this Conair hair dryer. It's an 1875 watt turbo styler with two-in-one attachment. Um, so it has a styling comb and a concentrator and a cool shot. So, um, the story behind this, which I need to do... Uh, another video or two on um, because I have a product rant to do <laughs> so anyway I will save that for a later time but yeah I think you'll probably hear more about that coming up in the near future okay um, I received this um, list pad it's a sticky pad with a pin list pad sticky pad and a pin with my initial on it this is Lady Jane LTD this is, you're going to find these at TJ Maxx as well. This is a Norpro silicone steamer with an insert. It says microwave or oven steam cook in minutes. Retain essential vitamins and flavors. Food cooks in its own juices. Even heating co cooks food, even heating cooks food thoroughly. Meat stay juicy and tender. So it's um, a steamer. So that's really, I, I'm excited to make something with that. I have um, these cute little napkins. <laughs> these, my um, my good friends get together every Christmas and we do like um, a gift exchange and we change it up now and then. Um, so that's what these are from. And this is the um, little napkins that I got from the person who uh, my gift was from and it says good friends are like bras supportive never leave you hanging make you look good and are always close to your heart so that's cute and then these two little wine stoppers one is a sunflower and one is a hibiscus so those are really cute and another little pad of paper this says live well laugh often love much so by Punch Studio. It's really pretty. Which I've been making a lot of lists and calendars and such these days, so it's good that I have that. Um, this is my, probably my favorite little gift because my little niece made it with her grandma for me, and she made them for everybody. So it's, it's a little snow globe, a little handmade snow globe with some little carolers in there and glitter so this might just sit up here behind me for a while so you guys can enjoy it too um, I did get some gift cards and things and I won't show you those I mean, you guys know what a gift card is looks like right <laughs> This is another of my favorite gifts just because of what it's about. Um, let's get it out. It's 
a really pretty mug. That on this side it says, Answer Special, Especially Mine. And this one, this side says, A Special Ant. So, um, I'm debating on whether I want to use this or it is dishwasher safe. It's by His History and Heraldry, wherever that's from. I'm debating on whether I want to use this or whether I want to display it and maybe keep keep something in it. I can't decide. If I use it, I'll use it. I'll be using it on the daily, so I'll get to see it all the time. Um, but if I display it, I'll see it on the daily because I will get to see it um, displayed out for everyone to enjoy all the time. Um, these are the Trendy Travel Bags by Avon. Uh, I'm not going to take these out, but I'll see if I can find a, a picture of them and I'll just insert it here. So you can see what they look like. You know, they're just bags where you can put your shoes in when you're traveling to keep your shoes away from your, you know, your clothes so your clothes don't get dirty. Or you can, you know, put your um, undergarments in there to keep them hidden. Or you can put your uh, already worn clothes in there to keep them separated, you know what have you. And then I also got the stainless steel tea infuser. This is a cooking concepts tea infuser. Did I say infuser? I think I might have. Sometimes things just come out of your mouth and you don't even know how that happens. I, I got a watch and um, this one, I actually really like this a lot because it's, um, it says love on it. It has a black I guess it looks like maybe a faux croc print strapped watch um, and it has it says love on the inside but it also has the breast cancer ribbon in there and um, I think you guys know that I've well I've lost family members to breast cancer um, I've lost friends to breast cancer I've had a lot of friends who have been dealing with breast cancer and are in different stages of remission or different stages of reoccurrence. Um, and uh, all of my friends that have had it so far um, were diagnosed. One of them died very young. Um, she was diagnosed in her 20s. They were all diagnosed in their late 20s or early 30s. So this, this idea that breast cancer is something that you get, you might, you could possibly deal with when you're older is a joke and um, so we all need to be kind of diligent about about it so anyway this is a subject that is near and dear to my heart um, if you're not familiar with the love army of women become familiar with it um, and if you haven't signed up for the um, studies that they do whether you've had breast cancer or not then do it um, they're, they are always looking for different types of people and I've not had breast cancer and I'm actually a part of a big study that is following people. They want people who have and haven't had breast cancer and they also also want men who are high risk for it and um, they're looking for the cause. They're not trying to find a cure. Uh, they're looking for the causes and they're looking for you know patterns and things like that. So they need people to participate who haven't had cancer or been diagnosed with it already. You might have it, you may just not know it. Um, but anyway, become familiar with those. So anyway, this is a topic that is uh, important to me, so I really like that. Um, this is really nice. This is The Hobbit. I mean, you're familiar with the story of The Hobbit, but this is like the fancy, you know, leather bound, gold trimmed. Um, edition, kind of a collector's edition of it, so that is really nice. Love that. You guys know how I am with books. You can never go wrong with me if you want to give me a gift. You know, a book is never, <laughs> never bad. Doesn't even matter what it's about. I will like it no matter what. Um, I also got a gift certificate to go get a custom frame made. Um, I have my grandparents um, that are past their high school diplomas and. The one for my grandfather, there it's it's actually not like a diploma like you think of a traditional diploma. It's a huge wall, um, 
document. I mean, it's it's really big, so I want to get those framed. Those have been like rolled up, laying around for um, you know, many years. That's how they had them. They didn't know what to do with them, or didn't do anything with them. And um, I'm lucky to have them now, so I want to get that kind of stuff framed. So um, I have a gift certificate to uh, go to a friend of mine who has a custom framing business and get a frame made for it. So. That's exciting. This is a mosaic it's serving platters and appetizer forts. It has three different size serving platters. They're plastic and 48 appetizer forks. Um, they're white, so you can see there's there's one of the plates. Um, here's another, and then the big one, and then the little appetizer forks are in there. I, I love to cook, and I love to entertain, although I really don't get to do it. Um, these days, but I do love to do it, and so um, I, that's I, that kind of thing really excites me. <laughs> um, and then this is like a storage container, which is just really pretty. It's got it's pink, kind of a pink trim, and it has green and yellow and sort of a reddish, reddy pink. Um, I don't know. I guess the yellow is kind of a peachy color. There's a reddy color and then like a pinky color and it's just like a storage type bin so that's pretty neat. I need to put that together and decide what I'm going to keep in it. We'll do food related items next. Um, I have these sea salt and pepper peanuts from the Carolina Nut Company which I'm kind of hungry right now so we'll see if they make it through the video <laughs> without being opened. Um, I have some Russell Stover assorted creams. So, chocolates. I mean, who doesn't like chocolate? It's kind of a no-brainer gift for just about anyone. Um, this is really fun. This is a Melinda's Original Habanero Pepper Sauce. It's actually a tangy and spicy jalapeno ketchup. So, that's super fun. I love spicy foods. Are That's my thing. When people say, what's your favorite food? Anything spicy. I love it. That's my thing. I, you know, I like sweet things a little bit. I, I can eat sweet things to an, to an extent. Um, I don't do a lot of sweets. Um, and, you know, I like carbs. I like, you know, all the junk food that everybody else likes, potato chips or pasta or whatever. But my weakness is spicy foods. It's, it's the thing that I don't care how bad I feel or how many reactions I've been having in the past week. When I want it, I want it. And that's the thing that I let myself that I let myself have because, you know, I have reactions to everything, so if I'm going to react anyway, I may as well have the things that I like, and so spicy foods are my, that's my, my crutch, that's my thing. A couple of candy canes, particularly the one to show you is the King Leo, the giant stick peppermint candy canes. Um, my grandfather used to um, always get you know, a lot of times from Santa, a lot of times from a family member, but he would always get the big candy canes. But back in the day, I mean, they made them big. They made them like, you know, this big around or bigger sometimes. And I mean, they were no joke. And he, you had to, he would break them with a hammer. <laughs> he would hit them with a hammer to break them into a bunch of pieces so that you could actually eat them. They were bigger than this, but um, these are fun in my family because they're a fun kind of reminder of my grandfather. I have some Red Hot Cinnamon Mints, kind of like Tic Tacs, but not, people know I like spicy things, and I, li I like cinnamon. Um, I have a little chocolate Santa, he's, I don't know if he's chocolate or chocolate and marshmallow, but he's cute. I have a cute little wet snow box with snowmen that are, you know, just filled with yummy but bad things for you. So those are fun. And then, oh, my pile is, is collapsing around me. And then, I have a few of these left to show you. I've eaten two or three of them because um, when I when I was given these was like earlier, early in the month of December. So, I've been waiting for a long time, so I only have a few left. But these are Cheryl's Cookies, and if you've never heard of Cheryl's Cookies, it's a local um, company here, but they do sell them on QVC now. But anyway, so the ones I have left, this is a salty caramel chocolate cookie. 
uh, a standard chocolate chip and a buttercream frosted salty caramel chocolate cookie. So the ones I have eaten, I had another another one of the salty caramel chocolate cookies. I had a spicy apricot and cranberry cookie. Um, is that the only two I've eaten? I can't remember if there's a third one. I, I don't remember now what it was, but they're very good and they make a, you know zillions of different kinds. So if you've never tried them, you can order them. It's, they're really popular too if you own a business or something. A lot of businesses will use them for different things because they're individually wrapped. So, you know, if you have something where you're putting on a conference or something and you're going to have a bunch of people in there, you know, they're good because you can put one at every seat. Um, or they make, you know, cute little things you can add into holiday gifts or birthday gifts or whatever. But anyway, with them being individually wrapped, that makes them really handy. Okay, next I want to talk about sort of fashion related items, although I did already show you the laptop case, but that's okay. So first is this t-shirt. Um, it's a good gal's t-shirt. If you are a, an antique car fanatic like I am and my family is, then you will know what good guys is already. And so this is just one of the good gals shirts. Um, it's a pretty kind of, it's not coming up true to color. It's a very bright kind of um, salmony pinky orange sort of shade. And of course it has the hot rod on the back. Then I have um, this fashion scarf by Blue Star Clothing Company. And um, I should, probably should have taken it out. It looks like it's like black and gray and kind of a lacy pattern to it. And um, the neat thing on the back is that it shows you different ways that you can wear it. So that's kind of fun. Then I have a couple of blue brand um, camisoles. This is a two pack with a built in shelf bra. Cotton spandex for a great fit. So I have pink and purple. Um, this is really awesome. This was a really nice gesture. I had mentioned um, I really want to get like sh shirts and mugs and things because you know I'm Avon's. I'm the makeup maven, the regional makeup maven for the Northeast region. And um, I really want more things. I have a pin, but I want more things that kind of that I can wear or use or whatever that identifies me as that. And so my um, family had a shirt made. It says Makeup Maven Northeast Regional Winner. And it has my, it actually has my web page on it, which is um, right there, which is really cool. And then on the back, it has a screenshot like of the um, the page. If you go on YouTube where the contest was and you and you look at the four regions, it has your face like in the United States. And so they did a screenshot of that and have that put on the back. So that was really fun and really thoughtful. This is really fun too. This is one of those as seen on TV things. This is the Salon Express Nail Art Stamping Kit. So, I mean, the, you know, all of you makeup gurus, you know about the nail stamps. So this is really fun because I, I didn't have any of those. So it has the, you know, with the little plates. Um, you know, there's the, the swiper, here's the tray where you put it, and here's the thing where you um, put the color on with, et cetera, et cetera. So that'll be fun to play with. My niece is, you know, she really, that's one of the things she really likes is to have her nails done. She's always been that way since she was, you know, one or younger probably. And so um, that's just something really fun. I, like something I could see her picking out with my sister-in-law, you know, because she likes nail stuff. And then um, I have a set of Essence of Beauty things. These are the Fine Fragrance Collection. Um, I have a Body Mist in Japanese Garden. I have a Bath and Shower Gel in Secret Woods. And um, this is actually paraben free if you wanted to know. And then I have a Body Lotion in Lilies and Freesia. Or Freesia, however you choose to pronounce it. I guess I say Freesia, so I don't know why it came out of my mouth. Freesia, 
another one of those things where things come out of your mouth and you're like, where the heck did that come from? And <laughs> makeup items. Um, first of all is the Tarte Natural Cheek Stain in Flush. I'm so excited to have this because I have wanted these for quite a few years. Um, I'm one of those people that when it comes to pricier things, um, I will only buy that kind of thing for myself if I can basically get it for nothing. If I have coupons and I, if I have points stored up and if I have, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever that I can add to it so that I can get it for the price of a discounted drugstore item, then I will buy it. But, you know, that happens like once or twice a year. So all of the things that you covet, um, you just don't buy. I just don't pick that stuff up for myself. I, I just don't spend money on myself that way. So I have this kind of running list of items that I would um, that I would like, and the cheek stains have been on those for a really long time. So I'm super excited to finally have one. Um, I've I've used them, I've swatched them. You know, I know how they work. I just for some reason I just don't splurge on myself like that. So you know, this is a pricier item, so I'm really excited to have it. Another pricier item is the Tarte um, Amazonian Clay Bronzer, and this one is in Park Avenue Princess. So I'm excited to try this too. Um, Tarte is a brand, I don't know, for some reason, I just don't, Tarte and Stila, I think, are both ones that I just kind of don't pay attention to enough. It has a fun, like, bronzy faux croc. Thing and looks like that really pretty bronzer. You can't really see it's got kind of a um, has sort of a sheen to it that's not going to come up on camera, but pretty color. So that is exciting. And then these two are stuck together. Um, I have a Stila Amplifying and Intensifying Glamour Eyes Mascara here, and then this is a Laura Geller Eye Rims, which is one of the baked. Um, wet or dry eyeliners and this one is in plum like it hot so let me see let me get that out plum like it hot people usually pick uh plums for people with brown eyes so that's fun yeah this is really pretty because it's kind of got like it's almost like a rose gold sort of coppery color that goes runs through it, which I think is so fun. So, yeah, I'm excited about that. Okay, so I think that's about it. Um, if you have any experience with any of these products and you want to tell me about it, then please do, or questions, or if there's any of them that you want me to, to use in the future and tell you about or review or show you in a tutorial or whatever, then let me know that down in the comment section. If you did a what I got for Christmas video, then please tell me down in the comment section section because I would love to go check out your channel and watch yours as well. So don't forget to tell me that. And um, I hope you guys had excellent holidays and that you're not freezing to death now that it's January. We're in the, for me, January and February are like a long boring stretch. Um, it's cold usually, although last winter was not bad at all, but it's making up for it this winter a little bit. Um, it's just cold and there's, you know, you're coming down off the holidays and so there's not really that much exciting stuff that goes on. Um, I mean, Valentine's Day is in February, but I don't, I haven't cel val celebrated Valentine's Day for a million years, so <laughs> that's kind of irrelevant. So for me, nothing really happens until like St. Patrick's Day and, um, you know, you, usually in March the weather warms up a little bit more, you start to, start to feel a little bit like spring, you can smell the grass starting to grow and all that kind of stuff. So we're getting into that long stretch. So hopefully you really enjoyed the holidays and you had a great um, end of the year, a great New Year's. and you're really like gunned up for this year because I really like to find a lot of things to do during this time of year to kind of keep me busy and help make the time go by faster. <laughs> so um, if you have any, oh, that's another thing I want to know if you if you do resolutions or anything like that, um, or if there's anything that you're working on, it doesn't have to be a resolution, 
but if there's anything that you are focused on right now then tell me about that down in the comment section below too because um, I, I do a lot of that kind of thing all the time but I think a lot of people tend to be kind of hyper aware of it um, during this time of year because of resolutions and that kind of thing and because they're starting a new year so they want to like hit the ground running so that this year can be better than last so if you're doing any of those kind of things then I want to hear about that too um, so I can cheer you on as you accomplish one goal after the next and I think that's it so I will see you next time bye